Good day, YouTube. Not quite sundown, but time for a bit of a landmark milestone kind of thing. I think I'm going to pick and consume the tenth meal out of this little garden on the rocks. I think I've got a lot of beans and some of them are getting fairly old so I better get the beans. Any little zucchinis. The one that's just about right size to be eaten. We'll go with ten beans and one zucchini. A green skin zucchini as they call it. And here's a funny thing. Maybe it's the drought. Maybe it's just global warming or something, but to get zucchinis, you have to come out here and pollinate them with a paintbrush in the morning. Otherwise, you don't get zucchinis. And tomatoes are not ripe. Carrots are not up yet. But I reckon that potato plant over there, that, that looks to be ready to go. And the way to find out is cut the top off and start to dig. And I think we'll have a go at leaving this fella alone. Can't say I've ever tried to dig potatoes out of a storage tub with a three-tined fork, but while well, there's a will, there's probably a way. Ideally, we won't damage the potatoes or the tub or the fork, especially if we use a Mark I human hand. potato. Four potato. Five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Wrong bucket. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, the names of the old. There we go. Let's see if there's anything further over here. No, that'll do it. Right, and we still have half a tub of undisturbed potatoes. 14, 15. Not that I'm planning on eating all the spuds tonight, but they will be part of the meal. So right, that's three out of the garden. And I think tonight's meal will involve five potatoes, one zucchini, ten dwarf beans, not only, but also field mushrooms. Really good ones. Four of them. Detected happily in time while whippersnipping over here under the trees. And look, see. Here's another little tiny one. And there's one, oh no, that's a stalk. And that is the one that I didn't see and I'm not quite hungry enough to eat after it's been through the brush cutter in pieces. So, about the 17th or 18th of September, garden planted, probably a couple of weeks of on again, off again work before planting. We're now a hundred days down the road, half an hour a day watering, so 50 hours worth of time spread out over the three months. I'm on my 10th meal. And there has also been two other oddball zucchinis just fed into my soup pot, as well as I think about a dozen beans went into the soup pot a different night. So very definitely 10 meals have come out of the garden. 50 hours, 100 days, 
two weeks before planting. And then you got the cost of the thing. Assuming you've already got a roof set up to gravity feed something to store your water in, you're then looking at $300, $350 for a fire hose because you wouldn't want to just do all this and put a garden hose on it. $500 for the water pump. other hoses in order to have the convenience of being able to pump the water from where gravity takes it off the roof up to a storage tank where gravity will put it into a garden hose with which to put in your 50 hours over a hundred days in order to grow the garden so that is actually an extravagance not necessary if you've got the roof and you've got the gravity feed system and you've got the chinese inflatable swimming pool and you could do as i did 15 years or so ago the first couple of times that i grew these sort of things in a cage like that you could use a 10 litre watering can and shanks pony and shuttle up and down the hill every morning for exercise and by the way before anybody asks the reason the zucchinis are so short on leaves is because every time the leaves have come up with fungus infestations i've been cutting them off and chucking them out and it sort of kind of seems to be containing it they're still producing and well, the last day or two they haven't got worse. Seems to be connected with a small, maybe half a millimetre long little white moth. Don't know what everybody else does for the moth. I just sort of disturb them and spray them with water. Anyway, that's the garden update. Kind of remarkable what you can do in storage tubs. And of course the tubs and the dirt, they cost money too. From memory, 950 litres of dirt, which costs you $20 for a 60 litre bag. So $320 for the soil-ish, $200 for the tubs. So we're talking $500 of cash money just for the tubs and the dirt. 50 hours of time just on watering, a couple of weeks to set the thing up. Once you nut it all out, it suddenly becomes a whole lot less mysterious why it is that unemployed people living in apartments in the cities don't just get themselves some storage tubs and some dirt and grow themselves some vegetables to supplement their food budget. Because even if they don't need a cage to keep the possums out, even if they've got water coming out of the tap in the wall, unless they are permitted to dig into their front yard or their backyard of whatever accommodation they're living in, they're going to be up to $500 worth of storage tubs and dirt just to have a little thing like that. And yeah, four months down the track, I'm on my 10th meal out of the vegetable garden but the mushrooms grow for free. Fossil fueled industrial economies of scale. That's why back in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, most people in the towns and the suburbs had a bit of a vegetable garden if they could. And nowadays, only a few almost oddballs and eccentrics persist with growing vegetables. But while we're at it, Tracky mean incisor, wild native parsnip. Flowering and growing in the wild. As well as this specimen in captivity.
which is thriving. And it, I'm pretty sure, is about 15 years old, having survived the drought. All by its little self and recovered when I started watering again with this vegetable garden. And now I have to do the washing up because under this system you put all your dirty crockery and pottery out for the animals to lick clean and that way they don't try to come into the hut looking for spare unwanted food. And it means that when you eat off it, you know it's been washed clean before you started to cook. So even though I might live in a humble little almost hovel, not quite squalid, I get to eat off a clean plate, not just a plate that looks clean, despite cockroaches perhaps running across it in the dark of the night. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. And the mushrooms grow for free, don't they? Got the coins. Yeah. I'm a little bit shy. There we go. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.